Welcome and good night and all those things good. <clears throat> Welcome to our movie night chat. Welcome to our movie chat. And uh, we are playing some instrumental Christian music, um, Christmas music for you tonight. So let's get into our quick movie chat. We went to a screening this week, as I said before, earlier on. Uh, we went to a screening. And today, I'm going to start off with where we have been this week. We, I just, well, the second season of The Art of More is on Crackle. And uh, right, to me, this season seems so much better than last season. But they're both equally good season. We start off back where... What's the name of the lead character? Um, the young his girlfriend has died. Not him. Um, his girlfriend has different. Let me get it. Um, his girlfriend has died, and he's trying to. He knows who killed her. His name is the the lead the lead actor is Graham Connor. He's from England. His name is um, Christian. His name is Christian Christian Cook. In the show, he plays Graham Connor. He is a war veteran who came back from. I'm, I want to say Iraq. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might be off with the name of the, the, the country he was fighting, and he came back um, to the states. When he came back, they decide was working at he's working at um auction houses and throughout the, the, the series you will see them flash to the auction houses and be talking about uh, the bidding and different people who do bidding it, the, the, so he, this season is bent on revenge for the fact that his girlfriend got killed at the end of last season his girlfriend got killed he's bent on revenge and so he's He's, he's, he's done it, it's really it, it was more intense this this um this season yeah it was more intense this season so and it felt really really good it looked really good the, the acting is um really really good it's Dennis Quaid is also <laughs> in it he plays a a, a a a terrible I love to say terrible um, a businessman, wheeling and dealing and trying to get Samuel get. Bronco. He's play yeah. He plays Samuel Bronco. He's, he's the businessman who is um trying to get his own way with. In the art world, um, the, the lead girl in there. Savannah Basley. No. She's that. She's Savannah Basley was the girlfriend who died. Um, why is she not coming up? The girl who does the, the lead girl. Go down and say, Fissy. Oh, God. I Kate used to know Bosworth. her name really, really well, but I stopped doing Kate her Bosworth. name. Kate Bosworth. Kate Bosworth was, is also in, in this, in this, in, in it. She's, she's one of the lead characters in it. And it's pretty good. You need to check it out. It's on Crackle. Crackle is a free, um, what would they call it? A free web uh, internet, a free internet connection, and you can get lots of no, different movies, different shows, different whatever. And crackle, check out crackle. Crackle, crack, crack. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Okay, okay. on to the next um show. Netflix. It's on Netflix. We have been watching Langmire, as you can see by Young Man's. Country and West, a uh, hat. He is he, loving Langmire, and homage. that's his, his hot hat to pay homage to Langmire. So, it, there's four seasons up, and as you know, the final season is next year, it's coming in 2017. It will be season five. There are four seasons up right now, so you can um, go ahead and binge Langmire. Really, really good. There are some new shows on Netflix, but 
mm, I tried to I two of them. One was an animation, didn't like it, and another one they it another another one well we did three of them. They were both of them were close captioned. They were speaking in another language, so we have to give those another run and not another at another time. I went to Amazon, there was nothing there wasn't any new series right now. There was no new series. I didn't see a new series up. And the last one that was up for Amazon was Godzilla. Right? Godzilla. And that's the one with um Bad Santa Guy. What's Bad God Santa Guy name again, sir? Don't know his name. Ah, oh, you know his name. Whatever. Bad Santa Guy. Drug war and Santa. He what? Bad Santa will be in theater soon, so you can, we can we'll be going to watch that. So on to the movies. We went to the screening for what's the name of the movie we went to the screening for, Zar? Collateral beauty. I'm in beauty. I said beauty. I totally said beauty. Not collateral. Not collateral beauty. I not collateral beauty. What do you mean? There's not collateral beauty now. Collateral, <laughs> collateral, yeah. collateral beauty, and collateral beauty starred. Collateral, collateral beauty Star starred Will Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. Who's the star of Bad Santa? Billy Bob Thornton from Bad Santa is the star of Godzilla, which is a series on Amazon. Yes, but more, it starred Will Smith, Edward Norton, and Kate Winslet. Right. Um, Collateral Beauty and stars Michael Will Winslet. Smith, Kate Winslet, Edward Norton, and Michael Pena. And Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren, Kira Knightley. Naomi Harris. Huh? Wait. Naomi Kira Knightley, Harris. Naomi Al Aris and what's the name of that young man? Jacob Lattimore. And Jacob Lattimore. Lattimore. Uh, it, the uh, collateral beauty was. An awesome movie that mom would never read. Yes, it's an awesome movie that I wouldn't. A lot of people, I don't think a lot of people will just go to see this movie. This movie is about. Oh. P O I wanna say people, which is always my saying thing, which is oh oh several per different people deal with debt or oh debt affects several different people within a within a spare, within a, within a, a certain a, a area. What I'm gonna give you a small quick synopsis. It's not much. Um we open the movie with, you know, there's a rousing meeting that's going on with you can see Will Smith um, character, um, Kate Winslet, Edward Norton, all of them in the meeting, and you know it's just a beautiful meeting. They are rallying the troops. They are telling them, you know, it's time to get. Ah, oh, I, I I forgot. He said there was three things that everybody looks forward to. I forgot two, but no, I remember. He says, "Why do we do everything? Why we do every? What there are three yeah. things. Why we Life, do everything." Death. What is it? Life, time, and death. Yes. The three reasons why no, we do everything. It wasn't even life. It was love. Love, lo love, life, and death. Love, life, and death. Love, time, and death. Loved. Okay, you 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 get the picture. We I, I forgot to write down the three words he said that you needed. Anyway, um, death entered the picture first, and it took something somebody important from him. And he shut down. He didn't do well. He didn't deal well with with it. He closed out everybody. He pushed every. Yeah, these, yeah, these things connect every single thing in life. Yeah, we all wish. We all wish we had more time. We all fear death, and we long for love. Oh, we, we all need love. Oh, we all need love. Those are the three things that connect us. Throughout the movie, 
that those three were those three things are interwoven throughout the movie and you see the he disconnected from everybody and you see how they try to get him to <laughs> to reconnect and come back into life because there are things that need to be done he is the owner of the company and he needs to do certain things to keep the company alive to keep the workers employed and to keep the the, the job they get oh. and, well, they need, and they, they also need the money and along the way they come into co contact with three different characters debt love Huh? That love and time. Yes. They come in in contact with three characters: debt, love, and time, and they take the the movie over oh, from in. there. They do. They should. <laughs> they have an impact on Will Smith's character life, and he's able to. Okay. 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 He meets a woman throughout this time, but the woman who has the same reason or way of death as he does for his daughter. But he could never really say. He couldn't his connect with her. Name, his daughter's reason of death. I don't, I don't even think he really remembered. So during that time, the same lady turns out to be his wife or the person that had his child. So, during the, over time, you see him come back to. He reconnects. He he he. It it, it it's a period of all people mourn, and some people come back, some don't, and it's 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 life, it's love, and it's death, all rolled into collateral beauty. It's not a box office killer. It's a a soft movie. I guess for uh, for the season, for you to understand, to share, to be with your loved one more, to enjoy them more. That's one of the reasons. Okay, that's our quick movie chat tonight. And I want to tell you about our martial arts movie. Pick tonight, it's... Police Story Lockdown starring Jackie Chan. This movie we got uh, this movie from Netflix and you know it's Jackie Chan kicking ass, but he's a little he's not Jackie that Chan is a cop and he, okay. okay. Jackie another Chan is a cop and another deep character that was in this movie was named Yi Louis or the man that kidnaps Jackie. Jackie Chan's daughter is kid is um inadvertently dates a kidnapper who uses uses her to lure him into a space where he kidnap him along with several other hostages and um then he tries to bargain for a somebody who was locked up in prison and um Jackie Chan was um throughout the movie uh, thwarted his efforts to do to get the person that he um that he wanted to get free so that's our martial arts movie for tonight our final movie that we watched yeah. was robot overlord no i am Final movie that we watched was Ro as I said, Robot Overlord. I don't know if this was was a book turned into a movie because I didn't check it out. But the stars in this movie was Gillian Anderson. Um, Gillian. What was that? The actual cast in Ben King to Gillian Anderson and Callum McAlfie. 
Callum McAlfey. They, this this movie is set in England, and you start the movie, you see where the robots the arrive. Conquered by robots from the Earth, Earth was conquered by robots. Survivors are confined to their homes as well. Electronic implants. We see incarceration by robot centuries if they venture outside. Yeah, if they are implanted with, they are implanted with a device that as soon as they go outside their house, a robot comes up and say, citizen, you have five minutes to get back into your house. And okay, if you like don't get back into your house, but at get, the, at the, your in, get back into your home, at the end of the five minutes, they, you become toast. They kill you. You are just eviscerated. There you go. You are just killed. But through a flu the, the, a fluke or an accident, they figured out how to disable the 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 implant. To dis they figured out how to, to disable the implant. And they four of them disabled the M the implant. There was a little boy that was really, really good. I didn't even get his name. He was really, really cute and really good. They figured out how to, imp to disable the implant and when they disabled the implant, they ran out because the, the, they needed to find the young man's father. And they were hell-bent on trying to find their, his father. And they stumbled upon a machine and they are now trying to defeat the robots and that's where the show, show take off. Gillian Anderson was in the show she was working an English accent not sure <laughs> why she was working an English accent but um, I'm not sure if she was originally from England as a matter of fact but I know Ben Kingsley has, does, you know, have his English accent. And the rest of the cast members were all from, from England. So, it's pretty good. It's from, um, as I said, you got, we got this one. It's a pretty decent movie. So if you want to rent that from Netflix, if you have Netflix, or you can pick it up some other way. But it's it's called Robot Overlord. I um, overlord, overlord, I'm not sure. Overlord, I, 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 no, with no, the no. the cast that they had, I thought they were gonna probably go for. It was probably aimed more at a, a bigger audience. So, those are the movies we watch, the series we are binging, and we have um. Yeah, so those are what we have been watching. So. Thanks for coming in this evening with us. Um, remember to check out Midnight on NBC when it comes on. It's a series. I want to thank you for listening to us chat about the movies we watched and the movies we went to. See you later, partner. <laughs> so, good night. Sleep tight. God bless. Be well. Thank you very much. <laughs>